Hello YouTube, this is Jeg Burr with the easiest mousetrap car tutorial you will find online. This car takes less than an hour to make and is designed for building at 2am before your physics project is due. It goes 84 feet using only supplies you can easily find at home. I'll walk you through step by step on how to build it. All it uses is a toothpick, four CDs or DVDs that you don't want to use ever again, a mousetrap, a balloon, a little bit of tin foil, some paint stirring sticks, four pens, some fishing line, and a hanger. Um, the only tools you'll need are some wire cutters, some scissors, and a hacksaw. And don't forget a hot glue gun with plenty of hot glue. So here you go. The problem with most mousetrap cars is you'll get a CD and you won't have a good way to put an axle on it. Basically, the way this axle works on the car is this hollow pen casing is the axle. And when you set the pen in like this, you put another CD on this end. So it's really simple to just glue your CD on, flip it over, and glue your other CD on. Now the problem is there's this little cap on the end. And when they put, when they manufacture these pens, they stick the cartridge in like this, and it just goes in through, fr it, it's just held in by friction. But with these little caps on the end, they glue them on, so these are a little bit more difficult to remove. In order to get this cap off, you're going to want to use some pliers and break the glue on the inside. So I've got some pliers here um, with the cap on the end of the glue. You don't want to crush the end because you want to keep it flat. You just want to push just hard enough that you can hear the glue crack inside. So if you listen, you can probably hear it. And I'll, I just rotate it around just to be sure I get all the glue. Now after I've done that, I've got this little piece of connects, and I can slide it up in there and just pop the... There we go. Alright, so here's the cap separated from the pen. And so that is perfect. You can see the end of the pen that had the cap is just as flat as the end of the pen that didn't have the cap. Separate all of the pens from their casings, and we will move on to the next step. Okay, so now you've got your four pen casings separated from your pen inks. Now, you're only going to want to, you're only going to need two of these pen casings. So I'll just use these clear ones, because they're the same, and I've got these other two that are um, not the same. I think it'll just look nicer with two that look the same. Okay, now, the main idea behind the way these axles work is you take the tip of one pen, right, like this, and it will basically sit in the end of the ink cartridge and spin in the end. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to have two of these ink cartridges sticking inside one pen casing, kind of like this. Because we're using these ends, what you want to do is snip off until just before the ink. And we'll use that as part of our axle. Now what you want to watch out for is some pens are clear and they've got bigger, they've got a wider inkwell. So this, this pen you can see, it's got the, the hole size there, as opposed to this pen, which has a smaller size. And it looks like some ink's already coming out of there. Um, so if you were to use this this pen as your axle holder, you wouldn't be able to hold the pen in because the hole is too small. What you want to do is be sure you've got one of the bigger holes that almost goes to the white part of the pen as opposed to 
just barely going in. So be sure you get these nice clear kinds with the bigger hole. And you just want to cut those off, so I'll do it over this paper towel. And we've got that and this. And because I've only got two of these clear pens, what I'm actually going to end up doing is I'm going to cut this in half later on. So I'll set, just set this here. Um, now this looks like it's going to be tricky. I'll just cut on the ink. It doesn't look like the ink is really there all the way, so I'll snip this off here. There we go. Okay, so I've got these two pens that have the ends snipped off and two that don't have the ends snipped off. I'm not going to worry about snipping these ends off because I'm only going to need four separate um, snips. Now you want to remove the inkwell from the writing part of the pen and the way you do that is you just twist the end off and pull out and it'll slip out. It's kind of tricky, but... Got it. Okay. And you want to use the paper towel. You can see I got a little bit, bit of ink on my finger. That'll just dab off. But you don't want to... You don't want to squeeze this or a bunch of ink will come out. So I've got this separate end here. This is what we want to keep. And... Later on, this is actually going to end up going back in here, into the pen casing. So, remove all these ends from your pens. Just twist the ink well off, and the writing part should pop off. Okay, so now you should have four tips of the pens, and four ink cartridges.